I'm, I'm not even looking at the right thing. But anyway, um, uh, here on another episode of On a Couch Talking Sports, I'm your new co-host, Jenga. Um, <laughs> I know nope. you guys are really gonna fall for this co-host. <laughs> Uh, oh, and Tommy. Um, oh. Yeah, this episode could really crash. Oh, <laughs> man, man, man. We really got to uh... pull the stray god from starting this episode. Robbie, you got to stop stacking the jokes, you know? But, um. And welcome to another edition of On a Couch Talking Sports. As always, I'm Robbie. Kyle's here. How are you, buddy? Hi. Oh, hi. I'm 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 here. How are you doing? Hey, good. Up? Yeah, you uh you 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 okay over there? You kind of our uh Yeah, Kyle. So yeah, we gotta let you guys in on something right off the bat of this episode. No pun intended that we're a sports show, I just said off the bat. Boom. Um Kyle uh is doing a little uh, preparation for tonight's episode while we are actually starting the episode. So I just wanted to start this episode with him actually like preparing just to give you a look into how like how our pre-show like usually goes. Cause you guys don't usually see like just the fact that this is this is Kyle like he literally just like five minutes before the show like is ad-libbing like his content for for tonight's episode um uh, <laughs> but anyway uh we are back for a new episode i know it's been a little bit but we're happy to be back with you guys and as always we are happy to have our two sponsors as always diamond organizing and wes woodson uh thank you to both of them as always for the support uh in this episode and in past episodes and as always, their links will be in the description, so definitely go check both of them out. So, for tonight's episode, we are going to dip back into an old favorite. It is going to be another On a Couch Talking Sports game night. Um, you've seen episodes we've done before of this, where we've done various games, some new games, some old games, all the good stuff. Um, we're not going to be playing Jenga, though. We're not going to be playing Jenga. By the way, that's our third sponsor for tonight is Jenga. Um, you should definitely play Jenga. It's a great classic game for all ages. And, uh, yeah, just have to be a box here. So, uh, and we're just game night. So, you know, I got to gotta break out the Jenga box. There's also, like, Stratego, Connect 4, uh, Guess Who, Othello, and a couple other games over in the corner that you guys can't see. Um, but anyway, tonight's game that we are going to be playing is Sports 20 Words or Less. So you probably, if you've watched our past episodes, you'll recognize this game. We've done this a couple of times, really enjoyed it. So we figured why not bring it back for tonight's episode. And the way the game works, is a very, it's a pretty simple game, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Is basically Kyle and I have each thought of five words, sports related. Um, and we have to try to get the other person to guess our five words, but we are only allowed to use up to 20 words as clues to get the other person to guess the words. Um, yeah. And obviously as we go along, yes, the more clues we give, the less words we have to use later on. So I think every time we've done this, both of us have gotten each other's five words. I don't think we've like run out of words and I gotten all the, all the the guesses i got all the words so all right, right. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. see if we can continue that trend tonight uh it <laughs> should be should be fun um so i guess i will i'll give my clues first if that's okay with you oh no please yep uh, <laughs> <laughs> kyle's like begging he's like 
please? I mean, uh, sure, yeah, that's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, let me pull up my words here. So, all right. again, I have 20 words. I have 20 clues to try to get you to guess these five words. I'm also going to be making, right. um, like, tally marks. Um, oh, yes, that's a... I gotta remember that to do this time because I feel like last time we did this I forgot to do the tally marks originally. So it's okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Let's do it. First word. No, those weren't two of my words. <laughs> yep. By the way. No, I got. It. <laughs> all right. City Olympics. Um. Paris. Correct. Yeah. Off to a great start. Cool. All right. Love it. Love it. All right. Cape team name. Um. The Harbrocks. Very good. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Cool. All right. All right. Two. Two down, and I've, I'm at five. Five hints, or I have fifteen words left. Okay. All right. All right. Baseball position. Uh, pitcher. Good. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay. There you <laughs> I, know. Just like, I promise I didn't look. I, I was like, no, oh, okay. no. He, Kyle has not seen okay. these words in advance. Nope. nope. We have not shared them, so. <laughs> All right. Fourth word. And uh, by the way, I'm up to seven words used. <sighs> okay. You track. Oh, like you as in me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. Uh, but again, those are, yeah. You track. Um, thrower? Object. Shoplet? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Cool. There you go. All right, so now, <laughs> I'm, at, now I'm at 10 words. Uh, and I've okay. only got one left, so I've got, I've got 10 words to get you to guess. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Hockey position. Uh, goalie. Good. Oh, yeah. Cool. Good job, buddy. There Nailed you go. It. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. You, so you <laughs> got it in twelve words. That's cool. Pretty good. Pretty All right. Good. Love it. <laughs> All right. Awesome stuff. So I. Yeah. So okay. Kyle got all five of my words. So cool. Now I I'm gonna sort of scoot over here a little bit just so I. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm not don't see the... uh, I don't see the phone with the words and all that. Otherwise, I'm gonna make you play Game Boy, like obscure <laughs> NES games on this thing. That's what it does. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah. But yeah. So now uh, the floor is all yours for uh, for you to give me your clues. All right. I'm actually changing one of my answers because I realized one of them was a double word answer. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll just, yeah. All good. All good. Yeah. Um. Actually, can you do names? Names like people. Like people. Yeah. Would that count? Yeah. Oh, actually, okay. Yeah. Actually, no, I'll just keep you my You can own. do names, team names. I mean, you can do anything really sports-related. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. either way, okay. <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Whatever you want to do, it's up. To, it's your it's your show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not my show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it Craig's show? No. I don't know. By the way, I, I, I don't mean to take us off the rails for a moment here, but a big congratulations to our buddy Craig, obviously formerly the host of The Craig Show, not his show, Craig just had his first child. I mean, he didn't literally physically give birth to the child, but you know, yeah. 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 Craig and his <laughs> lovely wife uh, had uh, their first child the other day, so we wanted to give them a big on a couch congratulations. Um, yeah. Good for you, Craig. Yeah. yeah he'll he'll be a good dad. We're really, ha- yeah, we're really happy for you guys. All right. Go all ahead. Right. Um, all right. I'm so, ready. Um, hmm. Okay. Baseball. Similar. Softball. Nailed it. By the way, and you're keeping track of how many words. So that's two words. Two words, yeah. Oops, hold on. I I put I put XC. I'm just putting the tallies. There we go. And it was kind of funny because Kyle and I on our we went out for a walk to get dinner before the episode we actually walked by a softball field there you go um <laughs> so fresh fresh in the mind uh, fresh <laughs> yeah. in the noggin there um soccer footwear 
Cleats. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Um. Let's see. Throw. Glide. Throw. Glide. Oh my gosh. So I had six words. Okay. Mm-hmm. Throw. Glide. Curling? Uh, round. Wow. Round, throw, glide, round. Shot put. Ultimate. Frisbee. There you go. <laughs> oh. Nailed it. No, that was that was good. That was a tricky one. Yeah, oh, this... <laughs> that was good. I, I I never know how uh how if these words are gonna be tricky or easy. So I always just no, kind of try good. to. <laughs> no, that was good. That was very good. Thank you. Um, let me see. Running, fast. Sprinting. Nailed it. Let's go. All right. So now we're at. All right. We got the last word here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words. All right. So, that was good. I think yeah, I think pretty much like I was halfway like through my clues when you got to the last word and I have to say we're kind of <laughs> on the same track here. Oh, we might be tied. We might be tied. Let's oh, see. Oh snap. Um <laughs> All right. Baseball hated. The Yankees. <laughs> yeah. Let's there go. You go. There you go. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> that was a fun pairing. I was like, I'm, I'm going to have to, yeah. Of course. You got to throw it in for me, especially. <laughs> yeah. No, that's <laughs> nice. Nice. I love it. Yes. Let's go. I think, yeah, you and I both, I think, got it in the same number of words. We that it. was really good. I think we're good. That we was did really it. good. Cheers. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a drink at the moment, but <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers to the Jenga box. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. Sorry. Didn't mean Jenga to... cheers. And then oh, I sorry. caused a mini earthquake in the matter. No, nah, you're good. Earthquake. Okay. Ah! But, uh, yeah, so, uh, and if you guys were playing along at home, feel free to drop a comment on how many words it took you to if you were able to sort of figure out our clues before or at the same time that we did so um well then yeah dead even i think you and i basically like hit it like right on the just right on the money mm. there um got it another fun filled on a couch game night comes to an end and now we will transition on into the last portion of our episode as we always do uh, with the Robbie's Football Recap and the Suze Reviews. Um, I'm going to start out with the Robbie's Football Recap tonight. Um, kind of a mixed bag this week. Last week I was like amazed because like literally all four teams in my Robbie's Football Recap won last week. So I cool. definitely did not think I was going to be able to duplicate that this week. But, you know, two and two, I, had two, I had a two and two week, let's say that. So not not yes. terrible. So... We'll start with the favorite teams. Uh, the one favorite team that won this week was Wellesley High. They won their second game of the year against Dedham uh, last Friday night. Cool. Uh, cool. Nice, another nice road win for them to start off the year. They're now two and zero on the year, and will be traveling to Milford um, this coming Friday night for right. um, for their next game. Um, so best of luck to them again. Starting off the year strong at two and zero are the Raiders. BC, unfortunately, uh, did lose their first game of, lose their, suffered their first loss of the season um, on Saturday, losing to Missouri 27-21. to uh, Still was a great game, though, and obviously a great showing for BC, who, in, in heading into that matchup, was a 24-ranked team in the country facing the number 6-ranked team in the country, who they were 16-point underdogs against, and yet they were still able to uh, play them to within six points, um, you know, right down to the wire there. But they are now 2-1 and one on the year, and will look to bounce back this coming Saturday night as they host Michigan State um, at home, like I said. So hoping 
for uh, a quick bounce back and uh, get that third win of the year come Saturday night. We shall see. And the Patriots, again, played a really close game on Sunday in their home opener against the Seahawks. Unfortunately, lost in overtime, 23-20. to They had the lead late, but then Seattle kicked a last-second field goal to tie the game and then obviously went down overtime and kicked a field goal to win the game. Um, so the Patriots are now 1-1 one one on the year, and they will have a quick turnaround as they will um, head to New York, I guess, technically New Jersey, <laughs> to mm-hmm. face the Jets uh, for, for Thursday Night Football this week, um, coming up in just a couple nights from now. And my fancy team. My fancy team improved to 2-0. and oh. This weekend wow. with a victory, we pulled it out. Nice. It took some some good um, production from both Jalen Hurts, a quarterback, and um, my one of my wide receivers for Atlanta, who I'm now completely blanking on his name. Um, but it's beyond the point. But anyway, my the two guys I had in Monday Night Football did just enough for me to get over the top and uh, pull out a win, and so. Yeah, I'm 2-0 so far on this young fantasy football season, so I'm very, very pleased about that, and hopefully we'll be able to get to 3-0 next week. We shall nice, nice. We shall see. But, um, yeah, so like I said, a, a 500 week for my Robbie's football recap. Two wins, two losses. I think overall now I am 6-2 uh, and two in the Robbie's football recap. Uh, not bad not bad start the Robbie's football recap teams are six and two overall so can't complain cannot complain nice all right um well with that being said time to pass the torch uh even though i don't really have a torch to pass but it's all right (laughs) imaginary torch over to kyle pass the jenga pass the jenga yeah that's right um yeah (laughs) yeah how could you let a Jenga box divide us? It's not dividing us. It's it's the, our third coast. Yes. It's what do you think, Jenga Jenga box? Man of man of many words or box of many words right there. Uh, but anyway, Kyle, it is time for you to uh, give us another Sue's review. So why don't you take it away? Cool. So uh, uh, this week's movie I want to talk about was um, I want to go with the freshest movie that I saw, and uh, I I was lucky enough to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which is yes, it's the continuation of the classic nineteen eighty eight film Beetlejuice, um, starring Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, um, and the nice thing about this movie is most of the cast from the original movie come back for this, and it's it's great. They reprise their roles, but. It's essentially sort of like it, it's you know it's thirty years after the first movie about so they do address that they kind of time jump so it's that's what oh geez <laughs> Django was gonna fall a bit earlier huh before it than expected so um, anyway so <clears throat> Django are you sleeping in my review is that what's going on here hmm, okay um, well well Django I decides, totally so, don't ignore your reviews I don't know what you're talking about he said to the worst ho- co-host like Robbie's on his phone Django's falling asleep like come on guys no. <laughs> um, so <laughs> um, so it, it was you know as a follow up to the um, original like, yeah so uh, sorry I, was, I lost my train of thought um, I was saying uh, they do address the 30 year time jump and it's kind of nice seeing like all the characters you know where they are kind of thing and you do get to see where lydia's stepmom is and lydia herself and she does have a daughter played by jenna ortega um and you do get to see kind of like and and, and they do show like a good like a good a good amount of funny scenes with uh, michael keaton as beetlejuice back again and he's great he's he's fantastic like they don't he doesn't like overstay his welcome um, he like, I mean, not that he, honestly, not that anyone would complain cause he's, he literally is the best part of all those movies, but, um, the, he has about the same, it's funny cause in the first one he had about 17 minutes of screen time and same with this one, but his character is just so memorable that it doesn't feel like 17 minutes. It feels like, um, that he's just, they, they do a good job at like using those 17 minutes throughout the movie. Like he has plenty of great scenes and laughs and stuff like that. 
And one of the things I love about the sequel is that it um it uses kind of those same kind of practical effects that really worked in the um, the eighties version because you know the eighties they didn't have as much like. Uh, CGI technology as you know movies nowadays so it was nice to kind of like in a sea of like movies big blockbuster movies that love to just rely on CGI and green screen it was very refreshing to actually see a movie use things like stop motion and just like more practical effects from from that era of of filmmaking so that was I'm glad Tim Burton kind of came back and just because yeah he did direct this one too which is really nice so it really did feel like a Tim Burton movie like a Tim Burton sequel and um granted the the story was a little bit um i mean i as much as i enjoyed it like i thought the there were there was a lot of stuff going on in the movie so there's a lot of very like the movie's kind of made up of a lot of smaller kind of plot lines so that was the only thing i think that might that some people might not like like as much but um otherwise i i i had such a great time watching this movie that it didn't even really bother me honestly so um if you liked the original i would definitely recommend watching this one it was a great follow-up michael keaton just did not miss a beat like he like that dude is that dude is immortal like the fact that he played beetlejuice and batman both in the past like couple of years like and he's like what 70 like in his 70s like that that's that's incredible like that dude has a lot of energy so he's it, it it's just really cool to see him um you know in in his like kind of older movie roles there and how he just still has like the same kind of wit and charm go about him so um it was great um yeah no so uh definitely recommend checking it out um not not super i, I wouldn't say it's for kids as much um definitely more the pg-13 crowd even though um because there are definitely some horror references there so if you um granted it's not super scary or anything but if you do bring a small child to see the movie then they might be a little freaked out so you know just be careful you um it, like just going into it thinking it's a kids movie it's not really a kids movie like the original they do drop the f-bomb too so <laughs> yeah so you probably don't want to bring your small child but otherwise i feel like everyone's gonna love it so even if you don't like horror even if you're an adult who doesn't like horror movies as much you're still gonna get a blast of you're still gonna really enjoy this movie so um definitely recommend it beetlejuice beetlejuice check it out and definitely watch it in theaters like don't wait for streaming for this one check it in the theaters like you you want to see this movie on the biggest screen possible so yeah maybe beetlejuice was the one uh messing with the lights earlier <laughs> I mean, you did say his name like four different times. Oh no! Oh, that was oof, man. I I must have whispered it. Maybe that's what happened back then. Oh jeez. Hmm. Well. Uh oh. Don't worry. Our Jenga blocks will protect us. <laughs> Our sleeping Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, thank you, Kyle, for that rousing review. As always, um, I'm sure everybody enjoyed it. I know I did. Um, <laughs> I know Jenga did. Um. But anyway, it's... I still can't believe you just said that. Um, uh, but yeah, that's going to wind down our episode for tonight. I um, want to thank everybody that tuned in. Uh, whether it was here on YouTube, obviously you can find us here on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, don't find us in real life. Um, like oh, I always don't. say, yeah, don't do that. Um, we'll we'll come at you with Jenga blocks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're... Um, yeah, <laughs> seriously. Um, big thank you as always to Zyman Organizing and Wes Woodson for their support. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, um, that's another episode, and uh, it's been fun. And uh, we'll come back next time and do it all over again. So until then, he's Kyle. I'm Robbie, and uh, we're signing off from On a Couch Talking Some Sports. So long, everybody. Bye, everyone. Oh! of on a couch talking sports and you might notice Kyle's not here right now um he had to kind of go in the other room and do some stuff but uh, the weird thing is the lights I think they've actually established a mind of their own um because they keep like 
flickering on and off. Like, oh, see, now, like, in the dark. Like, the, I think the lights, uh, yeah, they definitely have a mind of their own now. Um, and they're, yeah, because you see, I'm not even doing anything. I'm not touching anything. You know, there's no buttons, nothing. And like I said, Kyle's in the other room. See, they're now they're going dark on me again. I think the lights are out to get me. Um, you know, this isn't even my house. You know, I'm just, I'm just a guest. But I think the lights are, uh, uh, the lights are, see, now, now there's that. I, I can't even control them. I don't know when they're going to go off, when they're going to go on, like. It's just crazy. I mean, I can always just use the light on my phone, but 